Chris, Chris Matthew. Uh, today I'll be doing a short video on what we call Gen Duration Timer. The Gen Duration Timer is one of the devices we attach to some of our ATS systems which enables the user to um, program how long they want their generator to run. Now um, the demonstration is, is not going to be long and I assure you it's something you're going to enjoy. Come with me. Alright, so here we have a typical electro piston automatic changeover switch or automatic transfer switch ATS and this is a typical um, gen duration timer now the gen duration timer is a very very user friendly device in that um, you can actually set for seconds minutes or hours as you can see from here right now I have the value on M, which is for minutes. So this is actually giving us 10 minutes. If I need to adjust for 20 minutes, I just have to push this up or down accordingly. This is 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and so on. Now, if I need to adjust for hours or seconds, I just change this accordingly. Now, this is H for hours. So if I'm adjusting for, let's say, three hours, this becomes zero and then of course this second digit becomes three okay that's zero three h which is three hours zero zero now if i need to adjust for four hours 30 minutes this becomes um four this becomes three so four h three zero means four hours 30 minutes if i need to adjust for any number of hours i can achieve that by adjusting these values here to any suitable number I want okay but for the purpose of this demonstration I'm going to set our timing to 10 seconds because we cannot afford to wait for an entire one hour just because we are running a demo so I'm adjusting this to 10 seconds okay Okay, that's 10 seconds. All right. So now um, we'll be using the um, ATS, which is equipped with a gen duration timer. We'll be using it in conjunction with the generator here, which is a Tiger generator. Now on this generator, I actually have two wires coming out, two cables. One of them represents the supply, which is this one, represents the supply coming from the generator. Ordinarily, we should have a plug here connecting to the generator for the output, but the 
connection has been done internally. So this cable actually brings power out from the generator. Meanwhile, this second one acts as a remote cabling for controlling the generator. In other words, through this remote cabling, we can stop the gen remotely from a different location other than turning the switch from here on or off. Okay. Now this remote cabling has been connected uh, to our ATS. Yeah. It has been connected to the ATS. So through the action of the ATS, through the automation action of the ATS, we can turn the gen off right from here. Or if we adjust this and enable it with this switch to activate the timer, the gen goes off after the amount of time set. So right now, uh, to set the ball rolling, I'm going to ask my uh, assistant here, TJ, will you please uh, start the generator? Sorry, the gen is not starting because the remote is actually on stop. All right, you can start the gen. We need to take that again so that we can see what actually happened. The ATS is on, the gen indicator is on, load is on, and we can see the voltage 233, 234 volts. Okay? I can stop the gen by turning this switch to the stop position. So now I'm going to ask my assistant to start the gen again so that we can now automate it with the gen scheduling timer instead. Okay, the timing has been set on 10 seconds and I'm going to activate this right now. Okay, countdown has started. 3, 4, 5, the gen is going down by 10, 10 seconds. Okay, let's do that one more time. First, I'm going to turn this off to disable the timer. Start the journey again, please. Again, the journey has been started. The ATS is fully active. And now, the timer is being engaged. Six, seven, eight, nine, shut down. Okay, and that's just about it. Now your journey is off and will remain off until you go out there and start it all over again. Or if your journey is retired, that can be started automatically. You know, you can also start from here. Now, the type of journey you use will determine whether you can start from here automatically or not. Some generators have Kickstarter with battery on them. As you can see, this gen doesn't have battery. It's not the type that uses battery. It doesn't have Kickstarter or what I can call electric Kickstarter. The one you have here is called mechanical recall starter. <coughs> but if your gen is the type that has electric Kickstarter and has a battery attached, which allows you to push a button to start the gen or to turn a key, then of course the ATS can as well start your generator.
please subscribe to this channel and like our videos as well so that you'll be the first one to know when we have new videos out on YouTube. Thank you for watching and God bless.